You are welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Thursday, the 5th day of January 2023, and our topic for today says, Learn from the Word of God. Let us pray. Our Father and our God in heaven, we worship and we adore you. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the grace to be gathered at your feet again. We thank you for the gift of your Word, which is our manual for life. Thank you because it is the child that you love, that you instruct. Thank you because you have also chosen us to teach us your word and to grant us grace to hearken unto it. We ask, Lord, that as we come before you this day to hear you speak to us, help us to be doers of this word and not hearers of it alone. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. 2 Timothy 2, verse 15 reads, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 And our text for today is from the book of Psalm 25 from verse 4 to 5. Psalm 25 from verse 4 to 5 reads, Show me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all day. Psalm 25 from verse 4 to 5 God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, our topic for today says, Learn from the Word of God. And in the body of our devotional for today, our Father and the Lord says to us that our memory verse for today says that the workman that will not be ashamed is he or she who rightly divides the Word of Truth. Not just one who reads it, but one who divides it and learns from it. Many people read their Bibles but do not really learn from it. It has become something done just to fulfill all righteousness. There are many great treasures of knowledge in the Bible that will benefit anyone willing to search them out. When you study the Bible, you should be on the lookout for new things you can learn and apply in your marriage, business, career, ministry or any other aspect of life. Proverbs 18 verse 15 says, The heart of the prudent getteth knowledge and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. The Bible is not a storybook. It is a life manual, and lessons from it must be applied in our lives. Romans 15 verse 4 says, For whatsoever things are written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 to 17 tells us, that the scripture is given to us so that we can be perfect and thoroughly furnished unto all, not some, but all good works. It reads, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Living according to the standards of God as shown in the Bible may appear difficult. It is, however, better that you discipline yourself to do so because the results would be great in your life. For example, the Word of God says you must be humble. So be humble. As a result of your humility, God will give you grace to succeed. James chapter 4 verse 6 His Word says you should be diligent. So be diligent and as a result, you will stand before kings. Proverbs 22 verse 29 Believe me honestly, I have found that God's word is the key to true success in life. Be dedicated to studying it and applying your learnings correctly from today. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are still considering the topic, Learn from the Word of God. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 that we read in our devotional for today makes us understand that all scripture is given by inspiration of God 
and is profitable unto us. The Bible is described to us today as a life manual. For many of us who have bought new appliances or equipment, you would oftentimes find out that it comes with a manual. And the reason why that manual is attached is so that you can maximize the use of that equipment. As believers, we cannot maximize the life that God has given to us if we do not pay attention to the details of the life manual He has given to us. In this manual, we learn and we know more about Him. In this manual, we learn His principles and His ways. In this manual, we learn to know about ourselves better. In this same manual, we learn about the provisions He has made available to us. We learn about our rights and our privileges. We would be correct to say that in this manual, we have a clear picture of our identity. We get to know who we truly are. Hallelujah! It is unfortunate that for many people, believers inclusive, the word of God today has become boring. Some have even made it a way out to help them sleep off when they desire to sleep, so they begin to read, so they can sleep off. God's word to us is described today as having great treasures of knowledge that will benefit anyone who is willing to search them out. I like to see the scriptures as a field that is full of treasures. And Matthew chapter 13 verse 44 teaches us how to handle such. It says again the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. In other words, such a field is worth trading off all other things for. It is priceless. It exceeds any amount of monetary value. Our memory verse for today from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 tells us to study to show ourselves approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. God's word is the word of truth. And Proverbs 23 verse 23 tells us about the truth, to buy the truth and sell it not. By all means, it advises us to obtain it. God's word has the power and the potential to transform anyone. No wonder our Father and the Lord tells us today that it would benefit anyone willing to search them out. Many of us are living testimonies of how God's word has transformed us. We know where we used to be and we know where we are today because of the efficacy of the transformational power of God's word. God's word never encounters a man and leaves him the same way it met him. Our Father and the Lord today says that he has found out personally that God's word is the key to true success in life. And we are advised today to ensure to give dedicated attention to it, learning from it all that it has to teach us. You know one of the problems in our generation today is not that God's word is not made available. In reality, maybe we even have an abundance of it, talking about accessibility. However, beyond owning a Bible and probably even reading from it, we are advised from our study today to ensure that we learn from it. We are advised to allow that transformational power of God's word work in our lives and through our lives to bring out the best in us. John chapter 13 verse 17 says, If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. There is a great world of difference between knowing a thing and actually practicing it. There is a difference between being filled with head knowledge and living by the same knowledge. The peace, the joy, and the benefits that come from that knowledge are only experienced when we practice what we have studied. A man who has certain knowledge is not so different from a man who is ignorant. But there is an incomparable difference between the man who only has knowledge and he who chooses to put this knowledge to work. Do not forget, he who rightly divides the word of truth is the workman that will not be ashamed. We would bow our heads now and pray. We would say, Father, in the name of Jesus, According to Psalm 25 verse 4, Show me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths. Cry unto the Lord today and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, reveal to me your ways. Open my eyes to the understanding of your word. Grant within me a hunger and a desire to know your paths. Open my eyes and let me see. Open my ears and let me hear. Open my mind to understand. Teach me your word. Grant unto me an unquenchable desire for more of your word. Ask the Lord today that our hunger for his word would know no limits. That we will pant after his word. We will pant after knowing him. 
that beyond memory verses and reciting of scriptures, we will truly have his word dwelling richly in us and we will not stop at that point asking that we would also be doers of the same word, that in our lives his word would find expression, that he would help us to learn all kinds of wisdom necessary for various aspects of our lives, that his word would be our go-to place when we need wisdom, knowledge and instruction. Ask the Lord today that we will not live our lives based on the standards of the world, that we would derive our own standards from the treasures of his word, that we would derive our assurances all from his promises to us in his word. Ask the Lord also that we would maximize this life that he has given to us, that our Christian experience would be rich, that we will not be ignorant of any provision made available to us in him, that we will be ever learning from his word and always transforming to be more like him. Ask the Lord also, see Father, as we study, let his word do its perfect work in our lives. Let us be transformed from inside out until it becomes undeniable and evident to all that we have been with him. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Gracious Father, we thank you for your word today. Thank you for the amazing and inexhaustible treasures that are in your word. We ask, Lord, that you grant us the grace and the patience in this busy world to sit with your word and to mine the treasures therein. Help us not to be hearers alone of your word, but to be doers of the same, being transformed to be better as we submit ourselves to its workings. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Genesis chapter 18 down to chapter 20. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 3 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing ancient words. As you go forth today, let the word of God dwell in you richly. Have a beautiful and remarkable day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.